Hi friends, hope you are all doing well and today's video is again on an interesting topic. So before we start speaking on today's topic, let me ask you a question. Uh, hope you have all subscribed my channel and you are all enjoying this videos on positive lifestyle, on positive mental attitude and I would request all my viewers to subscribe this channel and give your invaluable comments and suggestions so that I can come back with some more interesting topics and some valuable points which you are really interested about. So today we are going to discuss about time management. As many of my viewers and followers have requested me that I should speak on something related to how to manage your time. I know this is a very common topic which most of the trainers have already spoken and this is something which I'm going to tell you today is definitely going to make some change in the way how you do your time management. So you must be thinking that it is just going to be a kind of uh, a positive motivation on how to use time yes of course but there is definitely some new things which you are going to learn about managing your time okay let me ask you a question that what is the most valuable currency which we use is it dollar is it rupees is it yen or it is rubel let me tell you the answer of this in 21st century the most important currency which you use it is your time time is that finite source that once it is gone it never comes back so you should know that how you use your time whether you are a student you are an industrialist you are a businessman or you are a professional you must know that how to effectively use your time often we find people who always prepare their to-do list who have a whole lot of action points in a day and they just try to make sure that they can fulfill all the important things in their to-do list but still at the end of the day when they look up their to-do list they find that still something is not being done do you know why the reason is that we actually write in our to-do list not the important task but the urgent task yes those urgent tasks are the distractors most of the time we cannot categorize between the important task and urgent task now what are these urgent tasks before i tell you the urgent task i must tell you that we must be able to identify our time we must be able to identify our priorities urgent tasks are those tasks which actually were important but we ignored them and we ignored them till the time it becomes urgent i give you an example suppose you must see a doctor for some disease but you kept ignoring it because you thought that it is not that important till the time it becomes chronic and when there were no other option you have to go to a doctor and seeing doctor is urgent or maybe you have to pay your tax but since you kept delaying because you were very busy you were occupied but you waited for the last day and when it was the last day you have to rush to the tax counter but you found already there is a huge queue of people who is waiting before you to pay their taxes because like you they were also waiting for the last day so my friend try to do things before it becomes a urgent for you and the day when you find that you have the less urgent works and you start focusing on your important tasks, you will understand that how to identify your important work. Now you might ask me then what we should do? Should, shouldn't we manage our to-do list? I'm not saying that you don't manage your to-do list, but I'm saying start focusing on your calendar days. Yes, understand that each day is important for you and understand that how you can utilize a day at its best and for that you need to categorize your work into three different parts that is vital essential and desirable work so understand that what are the most vital things in a day which you should do what are the most essential things which you actually do and what is the desirable thing 
But what we generally do is we always try to do the desirable things first. Take an example. When we get up in the morning, what is the first thing we do? We always get up in the morning and try to go through our WhatsApp, try to check our social media and see that what people have said or we try to respond them. But most of the time we are doing things for others. So if you are not really doing something for yourself, then how do you think you are going to prioritize yourself? So I believe that before you understand time management, you understand that whatever the priorities you have. So prioritizing your needs, prioritizing your requirements are very important than doing time management. So time management in the other way, I can say it is self-management. So if you really want to do time management, you must know that how to do self-management. And my friends, if you are really interested to follow a particular practice of managing your time, you must understand that what are your goals? What are your objectives in life? If you want to really excel in your life, then you must know that what exactly are the three important things which you want to do every day in life. It is not necessary that you have to do 10 important things in a day, but make sure that you do at least two important things and one thing which is really desirable, which you like, which is close to your heart. And when you start doing this way, you will find that you are going close in prioritizing yourself. So first, every day in your life, make sure that you do two vital things and one essential thing. And if you still have time, then you can go for the desirable actions as well. And when you will follow this technique, you will understand that it is much easier to manage your time. It has been seen in a survey that most of the time when we go in our office or we go in our workplace, the first thing people do is like they check their social update, they check their emails and sometimes they get lost in all those personal chit chats which are not really yielding effective use of their time. So my friends, why we actually lead to the wrong path every day? Because of distractions. Because gradually, when we pass time throughout the day, we get more carried away with our emotions and we are actually more attracted doing those all trivial things which are not that important for us. And you just imagine when you start your day with the amount of technology and information around us, we are having high chances of getting distracted. Whether it is your mobile phone ringing, whether it is an alert for your email or a WhatsApp message, every time you look back to check what is the message or what is the information for you or you are always trying to think about that somebody must be expecting you. Try to find out some time when you can at least go back in your solitude and spend some time with yourself, which will help you to realize your priorities. Ask a question to yourself that what is that thing you do which is going to help you to learn something. So if you are not learning something, if you are not prioritizing yourself, how you imagine that you will be able to efficiently use your time. So the first level is understand what are your vital works, what are the essential things you need to do and what are the desirable things you need to do. And once you have classified your work, you make a category of work, category A, category B and category C. Category A are the vital works, category B are the essential things which are important for your role and objective and category C are those desirable actions which you can get for your pleasure, which you can do for your fun. But those things can be done when you have already achieved A and B category work. So, if you really follow these objectives, I'm sure you will be able to prioritize yourself nicely and then you will no more have urgent work in your to-do list. So start focusing on weight analysis and I'm sure you will be getting more out of your day, more out of your life. I hope my friends you have uh, realized that how effective and how easy it is to follow your time and manage your time but only when we really start implementing these good things in our life and if you really like this video i would request you to subscribe my channel and give your suggestions so that i can come back with such nice and wonderful videos thank you stay well stay positive 
bye bye and i'll be back once again with some hey guys more. what are you waiting for if you have still not subscribed me subscribe my channel and get some more interesting video on positive lifestyle and hit the bell button so that you can watch some more interesting videos